Az. Alright, we are back again for some more. Okay. So we're back for some more. Um, what's this game? <laughs> Mafia Three. <laughs> I literally forgot the name of the game I'm currently playing. That's a new level. I forget it. Oh, that's a some green cards. Anyways, yeah. Um, so we're back for some more. Um, yeah. Right now we're supposed to go kill a dude named Richie Duse. So let's go ahead and see Cassandra. And then we're gonna take care of the dude, I guess. Pretty straight forward. Alright, that's the deal. This man's name is Jesse. We were just having ourselves a little conversation about which you do say. Listen, I ain't done nothing, you hear? I don't know anything. I, I was just taking a walk and walking down the street and, and she scrammed me is all. You with Dixie Mafia? No, yes, I mean, shit. I did it for the money, you hear? I, I ain't got nothing personal against y'all. I don't even carry a gun. Where's Doucet? He's... He's out at the abandoned amusement park to the west of here. Ban Saturdays? What the hell is he doing out there? From what I heard, it's because you've been tearing things up. And Georgie, Georgie's on a goddamn warpath. He wants Richie dead. So Richie, he grabbed what was left of the heroin and took off. Said he was gonna lay low until he could settle things with Georgie. How many men he got with him? Hell, I don't know. All of them. Hand me that knife. No, no, please. No, I ain't done nothing to y'all. Please, I, I'm begging you, my mama, my mama, Go on, get. He could one do set. He ain't no threat to nobody. Let him run back home to his mama. If you wrong, there'll be hell to pay. You send supplies to Delray Hollow. Going at you. Hang tight. See anything you need? Show me what you got. I'll be. As usual, you know how I play this game. I go quietly until 
until there is no more quiet. I hate being quiet, so quietly sometimes falls. So it's good. Now this. I don't like that. Bad sense about this, man. Richie needs to work this shit out with Georgie. Well, he ain't got no fucking choice. Cause if he don't, we fuck like your mama on prom night. For sure, man. For sure. Well, better get back to it before Bobby starts hollering again. All right, then. Watch your ass down there. Can't piss off that many niggers and not expect some kind of response. Hello. Huh? not be screwing with me. I can't move! 
damage. You don't have to reload while I'm doing I got them. Right. Bad. That was my mouse that was done. By the damn Oh.
Alaska. We know you're out here somewhere. Show yourself. Come on out. We'll make this fast. Promise. Go see if he's still in the bone rattler. There wasn't no squirrel. Come on, that damn was
You did to Sammy and Ellis Robinson. I didn't have nothing to do with I watched you stab Ellis in the gut. I couldn't do nothing about it then, but I sure as hell can now. God damn it. None of that was my idea, you hear? It was all Georgie, him and his old man. They wanted y'all gone, not me. Uh, what was I supposed to do, say no? Either that or make sure that I was dead. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> No, please, please, listen, listen, just do the thing and it. Let a man get in a prayer before you kill him. You can pray on the way up. When I saw Richie Doucette hanging from that Ferris wheel, I felt a profound sense of disbelief. Nothing like this had ever happened before. Mobsters killed each other all the time, but it was generally a small, contained event. Some greaseball was eating spaghetti and meatballs at his favorite restaurant and gets popped in the head. But this was different. Even then, even before I knew who killed him, I knew that Richie had been put on display. Lincoln was trained in psychological warfare by the CIA. He wanted to terrify the mob, wanted them to know he was going to kill every last one of them and that none of them would be able to stop. Man. Well. I guess it is in this grim mood. But I'll end the video right here. Thank y'all for watching and I guess I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye bye.